just fully strafing and shooting at the same time. Three songs. I mean, do, do I need to prove anything else? Look, look how precise this is. And Valerie can strafe back and forth and be kind of precise. The Phantom is super easy to be precise. You can strafe back and forth, and I'm not even taking my finger off the key. Dude, th this is nuts. Like, I don't know how, how else can I show you guys. This is crazy. So many different keyboards in the markets. You don't really know where to choose from. The more tactile. What keyboard sounds better? What keyboard has the fastest switch? Is there something that I can get an advantage? Wooning has always been the king. The Wooning 60HE, I was one of the first backers and I'm very enthusiastic about it. But apparently, now, there's a brand new king that has just arrived. This is the Easy 80, a brand new keyboard by Iconix. Once they sent me an email to, hey, can you test it out? Can you do a video on it? I was very honest with that and I said, I'm very serious about my keywords because this is the most important thing when it comes to Strafe and Valorant and, you know, I'm very crazy about latency. If you want me to make a video on it, I'm going to be honest. And if it is dog water, I'm going to say, and they're like, hey, okay, no problem. We trust the product. So it is dog water, guys. I'm joking, I'm joking. So I'm, what I want to do, I want to review the keyboard, make some tests and show you guys why I do believe this might be the best keyboard in the market right now. And it might be better than the current scheme for a lot of people, including myself, the Wooding HE. The software is extremely easy to use. Uh, it kind of reminds me a lot of the Wooding software, uh, which is the basic layout overall for all keyboards nowadays. I'm currently using the Stertro switch Quick correction, this is the X magnetic switch, which is Iconix in-house developed new magnetic switch, boys. The software, there's many things you can do that are so CD, uh, DKS. I'm currently have running SOCD on A and D, but there's one thing, and for me, this is the biggest selling point of this keyboard. It is the infinite mode. Even they, they even do like a little disclaimer once you press it the 0.005 millimeters distance is undetectable by the human touch in infinite mode the key support rapid triggers at 0.005 mainly showcasing easy performance without enhancing the the gaming performance it actually does enhance the game performance and i will explain how if you leave it this way in game it's going to be very hard to move around but once you understand how to actually set it up this mode that's when the magic happens if you put everything to the very minimum over here in infinite mode it gives you a warning setting the z zone might impact the stability if you leave it this way and save it you're gonna have a hard time uh running around the game because look i'm pressing the key but it's so sensitive that it out uh, it stops look at this i'm, I'm pressing Wait, i'm keep pressing see i'm gonna keep pressing out of a sudden look if i go to the side pressing like this look see i'm not even i'm not even touching the a key and it's walking. You guys are gonna think I'm lying. Let me let me increase the camera. I'm not gonna touch much, but look at the actuation. Look at this. Guys, I'm not even touching. Look at this. I did I've done tests like tests like this with many keyboards. This is the first keyboard that it feels like if I put I don't know, this, like this, this thing on top of the key is going to start walking. Look at this. I'm going to move properly, just do some strafes. See that? Look, it's pressing by itself because it's so sensitive. Now, the way you find a workaround is so the keyboard doesn't press itself because of how sensitive it is. You're going to select the keys. You're going to go to the release and deactivate over here. Just going to go up a little bit. So 0.02. Once you understand that you need to take advantage of the press activation, everything else is going to clear up for you and you will understand why this keyboard is so insane. Now, this is the setting that I'm going to leave. I'm going to save it. And why this is so cool? Because when it comes to something like strafing with a Vandal and shooting at the same time without taking the finger out of the key, so your strafe is crazy. If you play Immortal Plus, you know what I'm talking about. When it comes to this, this keyboard is insane. Look at the shooting graph. The only way to be precise with the Vandal from this distance, it's by moving, stopping like this and leaving the key. 
that way you're precise, right? But this keyboard is so f insane. Even with my wooding, I, my the wooding is like used to be my main keyboard, but this one is my new one. With the wooding doing this, you can do it kind of, but the level of precision that I found in this keyboard is insane. Now, I'm in my wooding right now, the fastest possible configuration, as you guys can see, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Vandal, strafe back and forward and try to be precise. As you guys can see, it is precise, kind of, okay, but not much. Like, you know, it. I think it's similar. It's similar. I'm not. I'm not gonna put wooding under the bus or anything because the wooding is incredible. But what I'm looking here is strafe and precision for me, for my gameplay, for my style. It is important, and I feel like this is the best way to prove or to measure for someone. Ooh when a keyboard is good when a keyboard is bad if it is actually giving you an advantage or not so for me it does give a crazy advantage the test is more mainly for valorant players but if you don't play valorant you're still gonna be able to understand what i mean in valorant you can strafe back and forward and be kind of precise with the phantom it's super easy to be precise look you can strafe back and forward and i'm not even taking my finger off the key and look 50 meters the bullets are going correct right and i'm strafing back and forth i'm not stopping for a second i'm not doing this shooting doing this shooting i'm not doing this with the vandal is a different story with the vandal is way more punishing and is way harder but i found out that with this keyboard i can do it before with my wooding which is was used to be my main keyboard i wasn't able to do it i'm gonna start 50 cool I mean, like, this is nuts. Guys, look at it. Like, I know there are some misses, but I'm I'm doing, I'm doing running with a Vandal shooting. I'm strafing with a Vandal and shooting at the same time. Dude, th this is nuts. Like, I don't know how, how else can I show you guys. This is crazy. I'm going to change for the wooding. My wooding is already in my best profile out of here. As you guys can see, everything is correct. This over here is the pattern that I got with the easy aid, right? Cool. Now with my wooding, I'm gonna do exactly the same, the same feeling, the same everything, okay? Super, super, super runs, let's go. Okay, I'm gonna try it again, but you guys can see the difference. I'm gonna try it again. This time I'll try it even harder and I'm gonna try to focus even more and to do, I don't know, slowly, I guess. Guys, th there's no power of editing or anything. Like, I really love wooding, they're incredible, but they did something with this keyboard and I don't know what it is, but I'm using this keyboard. Like, the Easy 80 is nuts. Link in the description if you want to use my code. Like, and I told them, if the keyboard is dog water, I'm going to say it. But it's not. It's simply not. I got to be honest. It is a good keyboard. And it's currently, for me, the best keyboard in the market. Clean, super 100% correct. But look at this. Like, the strafes. The strafes and the shooting at the same time with the Vandal. Like, you can kind of, you only can do this with the Phantom, guys. Look, this type of play over here, Phantom only, guys. Very quick example with the deathmatch here. Uh, but I really want to show you guys how crazy this is. I'm not taking my key off the key, uh, my finger off the keyboard. I'm just fully strafing and shooting at the same time. I mean, do, do I need to prove anything else? Is, look, look how precise this is, guys. This is nuts. Like I'm, I'm talking with you guys, recording a video in a death match, and I'm not. I'm, it's effortless. It's effortless. It's, it's nuts. After all of this testing, keyboards, wooding, hurts. What is the verdict, guys? You do with this information whatever you want. I do have a link in the description though. But my honest review and information that I have as a player, as someone that plays FPS for a long time, been a pro. This keyboard 
gives you an advantage if you know how to use it in the proper settings over there in infinite mode it does give you an advantage okay especially when it comes to strafing i can't wait to try this on cs in fact i might even try in this video i never know what to put it in but it's nuts i hope you guys enjoyed the video and I, overall i hope you guys enjoy my honest when it comes to reviews like this and i'm just being myself you guys know what it is just fully immersing myself in this latency optimization more because i truly like this and yeah if you guys need one if you guys want more videos like this just let me know peace out i hope they like riots or other companies don't make this keyboard illegal because the level of precision that you can extract from this keyboard is mind-blowing